All right, in this lecture, we're gonna learn how to manage local user accounts on a server. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Okay, so we're about to the dashboard and let's say that we want to create a user account. Now the command to do that's simple, just type in add user and then hit space and we're gonna, we're gonna specify the user name. Now I'm gonna just use uh, B, Billy Bob or Billy Bog since I type Billy Bog. Okay, so we're gonna create a user and the name's gonna be Billy Bog. So we're pressing enter. And this is only root may add a user or group to the system. So we need a sudo. So we can either add, we can either type in sudo before the command or since we're gonna be doing a lot of sudo operations, let's just type in sudo su. And that means super user do switch user, okay? So it's asking for my password. I'm going to type in my password. And now we're logged into root. So now let's try by hitting the up arrow. Oh, that remembers the commands that I've entered under the root user. And what we're just going to do is go ahead and just type in add user Billy Bog. Okay. All right. So it's adding the new group Billy Bog, adding the new user Billy Bog, and creating a home directory Billy Bog. And then it's copying files from the Etsy scale. Okay, so let's type in the new Unix password. Just gonna make something up really quick. Okay, password updating successfully. Okay, so now we can enter in any information if we'd like to. Billy Bog, we can enter room number, work phone. Uh, you can enter that information if you want. Uh, we're gonna say yes, the information is correct. And we're brought back. So the way to get out of sudo su or when we're logged in as root is just type in exit. Okay, that brings us back to Paul H. Now let's log out and try to log into our Billy Bog account. Okay, so Billy Bog, password. Okay, so now we're brought to Billy Bog. So if we type in ls, we can go back one. And if we're in the home directory now. So if we hit ls, we'll see Paul H, which is my user account, or our, in whatever your user account is, and we're also going to see Billy Bog. So oops, if we type in cd Paul H, we can go into that directory, and notice that it doesn't do the home directory as the home shortcut, the squiggly button. So if we type in cd squiggly button, it takes us to our home directory. So home slash home slash Paul H is no longer considered our home directory since we're in another user account. Now let's go ahead and type in sudo su and let's see if it will allow us to do this. Let's log in. Okay so it says Billy Bog is not in the sudoers file. This incident will be reported. So this is something we're going to cover in another lecture but uh, Billy Bog doesn't have any administrative privileges. So Basically, he cannot do operations like restarting the server. Like if we type in shutdown dash r now, you need to be root. Well, Billy Bog doesn't have permissions to do this. So if we type in sudo shutdown dash r now, password for Billy Bog. Billy Bog is not in the sudoers file because Billy Bog is just a regular user. Now we'll get more into that later, but let's go ahead and log out of Billy Bog for now. Log back into our main administrator account okay now let's say that we want to change the password for billy bog maybe billy bog forgot his password uh, or we just want to change the password the way to do that is type in pass wd and then the username so billy bog okay now it's saying you may not view or modify information for billy bog now let's just type in sudo pass wd billy bog okay sudo password for paul h Type that in. Okay, and now we can change this password. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new password for him. And the password was updated successfully. Now let's say that we want to delete the account. And the way you just do that is simple. Just D-E-L for delete and then user, then the username, Billy Bog. And you can bet that we're gonna have to sudo to do this. So Okay, it is deleting, it's removing the user, Billy Bog. If I go back, cd, back one directory, his home folder is still there. So let's remove that. So sudo rm-r, Billy Bog. There we go. Okay, so type in ls. 
and now we simply have Paul H. Okay, so now we know how to create a user account. We know how to delete a user account, but let's look into switching user accounts just for the sake of doing so because you've already know how to switch between an administrator, between a regular user account and a root account, but let's learn how to do it between a regular account. So I'm going to type in add user, test user, okay? And they type in sudo. Type in a password for the user. Okay, let's press enter through all this. Okay, so now let's type in su test user. It's going to ask for the password of the user. And now we're under test user. Okay, so we are in the home directory. We can see the um, folder was created for the user, and we can complete actions on behalf of test user. So if I type in exit, it'll take me back to Paul H and there we go so that's how you create a user account delete a user account and switch over to the user account i hope you find that helpful and i'll see you in the next lecture